What up YouTube? It's time for another update over here in our garden. I want to thank everyone for joining us. Okay, so we're looking at our veg tent. And for the most part, everything looks really good in here except for that girl right there. And let's just start off right here with her since we're having problems with her. And um, I don't know whose video I was watching. Somebody's video, I forgot. But here, let me grab some real quick from over here. Like most DWC growers out here, we use this, you know. That's on our on top of the net pots. You want to call it uh, clay pellets, hydroton, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So I forgot whose uh, video I was watching. They uh, put that on top of uh, their pots, you know, thinking that root aphids or uh, or root gnats weren't going to get through that shit you know that they thought that this was going to prevent those pests from getting into the plant root zone and uh <clears throat> sure sure enough i didn't put any uh gnat nicks on top of my hydroton in this dwc bucket and sure enough she got infested with uh root aphids she was um <clears throat> even after last week's update I was wondering why the hell is this girl not bigger than my other plants? She's growing way fucking slow. I was just wondering what the hell is wrong with her and I picked up her DWC lid and I look at her root zone and sure enough she has a bunch of root, root aphids in there. They were clinging to her root zone, crawling around the side of the net pot and uh, also there were some in the water and when they fall into the water they can then crawl onto the side of the bucket, crawl back up and go back into the the fucking root zone just by crawling up the walls of the of the interior of your DWC bucket so a day ago I took her out I did her best change and I gave her a water and hydrogen peroxide bath I fucking drenched the whole top you know just fucking top fed it and sure enough a bunch of them fell into the bucket and um, so this is the result of it obviously she's a lot worse for wear if she doesn't perk up in a day or two, I'll fucking get rid of her, so. Yep. Hydroton and clay pellets will not prevent any pests from getting through, from getting to your root zone, you know, that just will not work. Um, Natniks and playground sand is probably the only thing that really keeps those motherfuckers from getting to your root zone. So just a little tip for everyone out there. I should have known better too. I knew fucking better, but I was fucking lazy and that's just my fault, you know? All right, so then we'll talk about the newest girls in here. Back there is uh, two Gorilla Glue number fours. We got those from our clone tent. And uh, one of them is using Veganics, uh, Vega Matrix. And the other one is using my, synthet my synthetic line. And I'm growing them side by side just to see what the difference is. And they're growing in uh, cocoa. And over here we got two SFEOGs, DWC, and uh, I went fucking full preventative on these bitches. And you know, let's just fucking talk about it. Let's just talk about it. Okay, you guys see that? It's like screen or whatever. Okay, what I did is like basically made you know these slits right there, so I cut them open. I'm I got one of my weights and it was the perfect circumference of that of my DWC net pot so then I put a bunch of layers of that shit on there before I put put it there I had sprayed it with my uh, takedown spray it was a very high concentration of that shit so if they're even thinking about going into that motherfucker uh, you know they're gonna be fucking turned away by that <laughs> by the those fucking screens that I put there and under the screens is natnix so it's a double layer of protection on these bitches got I don't want anything wrong to go wrong uh, to, to go down with these bitches right here so and that's a sad looking bitch right there I don't want that to happen to these girls so I put a double layer of protection on there and that's what's going on over here underneath those screens right there there's about four layers of screen right there and under that screen 
is in that mix. So I can, you know, move the screens and feed them whenever I need to feed them. And then uh, I'll put the screens back on, but I'll fucking spray the motherfuckers again. Then put the screen back on just to be fucking positive that nothing's going to get into those root zones. Animal Cookie's doing great. Uh, Gorilla number four. Gorilla number four, they're doing great. I just fed them with their uh, OGT, uh, Veganic Special Sauce. And they seem to love it. They're really perky. And they're looking really, really happy. Alright. Now, off to the flower tent. And since introducing our clones into the veg tent, we've obviously had to move a bunch of girls over here. And we've definitely filled up this tent over here. This is the newest lady over here. We're looking at number four. She's in DWC. And uh, another Gorilla Goon number four, she's in Rockwell. Then our oldest lady over there, that's a SFEOG. She's been in here, I believe, four weeks already. Four weeks and a couple days. Then this lady and this lady, they've both been in here about three weeks. This girl over here, she's a real good number four. She's in DWC. And she's been in here, I think she's going on her second week right now. Yeah, something like that. But everything in here is really happy, looking really good. And like I said, before I put these ladies in here, I did a rest change. And I looked at her root zone and she's doing fine. She didn't have any root aphids, no root gnats, no, no fucking pets whatsoever. Nothing wrong, wrong with the root zone. So that's because that lady, she has a gnat mix on top of uh, her clay pellets. I fucked up for not doing that to my SFBOG. I'm just kind of mad at myself for that. But oh well, it's not fun if you don't have problems, I guess. All right, everybody, I'm gonna show you guys these lift tickets. These are fucking bomb as fuck. Two individual papers, natural hemp fibers, fibers award-winning cannabis extract, lift ticket, medicated rolling papers, Zilla OG by 805 Oilers. This was so fucking bomb. This is my second pack. They come in twos. I believe this was... I don't know, 10 bucks or something. Well worth it. Uh, one joint got like four, four of us with a really good tolerance, very faded. I'll show you guys what we're dabbing on. Some Venom OG live resin. Right there, and then we got some King Mamba, also live resin. We got some more unregistered extracts, OG cookies, right now we're going to take it, we're going to end this video off with a dab, we're going to take a dab of a, a combo actually of the King Mamba live resin and the OG cookies, yeah and the OG cookies is live resin as well. Yep. Got my dab ready. All right, everybody. Cheers.
Nice. Oh, that was such a big dab. Ah! All right, everybody. So that's what's going on over here in our garden. I want to thank everyone for joining us. <coughs> I want everyone to take care. Stay safe. Stay faded out there. Peace, everybody.